So if you're looking at the relationship between a categorical variable and a quantitative variable, um, one of the simplest things to do is just a box plot, because a box plot allows us to look at a quantitative variable across multiple groups simultaneously. So let's say that we're looking at hours of sleep, and we want to see if the activity people do before bed has any influence on that. So I would go to graph, box plot. It only gives me the option to do a quantitative variable because those are the only things that make sense in this uh, context, right? So our quantitative variable, hours of sleep, we're going to group by the categorical variable that we're interested in, so the activity before bed. So this will give us a box plot for each and every one of them. I prefer my box plots to be done horizontally, but this truly doesn't matter. Um, and the rest of these options you can play around with, but the only thing that matters is that we have the column selected and our categorical variable as our group by. So then we have our data. And so you can see here this group obviously did not do their data cleaning because they have this typo here with Watch TV uh, and a capital study. So this is why I have a data cleaning section. So I'm going to go ahead and fix this really quick. So this will be a double two and one. Um, so I'm going to sort this activity section. I'm going to find my mistakes. So let's change this to watch TV. And then there was a capital S study there. We'll make that a lowercase. All right. So now if I do my box plot hours by activity, now there are only four, uh, these five different groups and they all make sense, right? So study or work. And if this group really wanted to, they could have even combined all the study or works into this sort of like productive versus like relaxed thing. Um, so that's what you would grab. Uh, if you need to upload this uh, or grab this, you have lots of options. You can do download. That'll let you save this as a PNG. Uh, you can also use the snipping tool if you're on a PC. Uh, there's this little snipping tool.